now that you've had a few days after the Chicago game, what, do, what have you learned from that and what are you giving um, as advice to the team moving forward? Yeah, we analyzed this very clear uh, on Sunday and uh, started to be honest directly after the game and on Saturday in Chicago in the locker room, then the, the same on uh, Sunday and then to prepare our training session for Tuesday, Wednesday. So, But uh, the reaction, the behavior was clear. Um, what we need, especially then for the next game, and uh, it's clear that we were very disappointed and also very angry about this game against Chicago and not disappointed or angry about the big picture of, uh, of our season or something like that. So the, the atmosphere was not the best, it's clear, after this game, but we were disappointed only for this game and now we are looking forward um, for the home game against Atlanta in our stadium with our supporters and this is now what we have to prepare. Go back to Anthony. Yeah. How important is, um, are the standings now? Are you keeping track of them at this point? Because uh, currently the team has fallen out of the, the home playoff spot. A win, could put, a, a win could put them back into it. Yeah, are, you, are you looking at the standings now? I, I heard about that, that uh, now some guys may be a little bit afraid about the situation now, about the playoffs, home sport or something like that. But the main focus is now we have three home games in the regular season. So I think this is this is the main part uh, now in uh, in our focus, in our daily life, in our part of work every day on the, on the, on the pitch. And uh, yeah, we have a big opportunity for us, for ourselves, for our club, for our team, for our supporter to, to bring the whole energy on Saturday. And this is important. And uh, I know and for sure we want the best place, the, we want to have the best ranking in, in the table, of course. And, uh, but the next opportunity is on, on Saturday. And uh, this is a big chance for us. And this is what we have to show them, the, the reaction, our behavior on the pitch. Yeah. Lastly, um, yeah, okay. I have to ask uh, Emil Forsberg and Sean Nealis. I know you mentioned Emil for next week in the in the derby, but how has he how has he been progressing? And also, just if you yeah. can give us an update very, on Sean. Yeah, so yeah, very good progressing with Emil. So it's a question. Maybe he's uh, able then for for Saturday. It's a question. Um, and uh, Jean Nealis as well. So we have to we have to check him now. It's individual outside. The last days, and uh, we have to check him tomorrow. And it's also a question then for the game. Next, we'll go to Mark Fishkin on Zoom. Mark. Hey, hey, good to see you, coach. See um, you. Atlanta came back from uh, two goals down last night uh, against Miami at home. W what do you take away from a performance like that against uh, the Eastern leaders? And what can you use uh, from from that match on Saturday? Yeah. I'm sure that Miranchuk will play in the center more, not like a winger yesterday. I'm, I'm sure about that, to be honest. But uh, at the end, yeah, it's a clear structure how they are playing uh, the last games, uh, the structure with back four, four, two, three, one, four, three, three, like this. Um, good speed in, in their transition moments, especially then Miranchuk, a good uh, player, especially in possession. To find the right spot, to find the right space in, in, in very good moments. But yeah, for us it's very important to to bring our whole energy, our all principles which we need against Atlanta. And this is this is the main part. And uh, at the end we decide what happened to be honest on the field. So if we are able uh, to bring all our quality on the pitch, then I'm sure we have the chance. So then we have the chance. Uh, to, to get three points, but first of all, we have to bring that um, on the field at the beginning, uh, in every situation, every duel, in every sprint, in every intensive run, in every pass. And this is this is our main part, our main focus, because this was, and what I mentioned, um, that was not good enough against Chicago, but this was against Chicago and not the whole season. Hmm. Next, we're to Daniel Forenstein on Zoom. Good afternoon, Sandra. Good afternoon. Hope you're doing well. Um, talk about Felipe Carballo, please. Mm. Since uh, the transfer, how has he looked to you? Uh, short uh, time uh, in his first match against Philadelphia, and he got his first start mm. in Chicago. What's your overall assessment about Carballo so mm -hmm. far? First of all, he's physically in a very good spot, and uh, when we when we have seen the numbers from the last game against Chicago, and uh, it was the first game now. Uh, with uh, 19 minutes, and it's uh, it's very good to to have these uh, these uh, option then for for our six position, eight position, or ten position. Could he he can also play as a ten, um, physically in a very 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 good spot, and also yeah we will see him um, 
in a, in a good spot in in possession to 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 keep the ball to to switch from one side to the other side to 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 read the game and this is to have this experience also to to bring the right rhythm in the game and that is and that is uh, what we see in him and uh, he showed us uh, also in the training session in, in, in some some periods of the game to have this confidence and also to have a good quality um, to find uh, to break lines in our build up especially yeah. and 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 he's also able um, to 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 pass the final the final to make the final decision and also in the final third next we have a vas on zoom How's it going, Coach? Uh, best of luck this Saturday. I just wanted to ask you, with the stretch run now having five games left in the season and a lot of talk being about the home playoff spot and everything else, what would be uh, your uh, what would be a successful five point run for you guys uh, in terms of points total? Because three of the matches are at home and the other two are away. Yeah. So first of all, and first of all, yeah. and I know we were very angry, and this is what I, what I said. We we were very angry, disappointed about the last game about the Chicago game but at the end we are in a good situation so that's clear we are when we when we when we have this when we sum up the whole season now five games we have to play in this regular season so everything is in our hand to have, to come in our top 4 that's clear so for sure then uh, now it's uh, Orlando they have the same points New York City they have i think 40 points Charlotte 38 39 points i'm not sure so but uh, at the end now, the main focus is um, on Saturday. This is our home game, and not to think about our home playoffs or home spot playoffs like this. So, but so we are we are actually now uh, on uh, on five. So, and now we have uh, the home game against Atlanta, and the main target, main goal is for sure to get three points. So, but uh, for ourselves, first of all, and not to think about. This is then for the playoffs or something like that. No, it's only for us, for for ourselves, for our daily work. Then also to get uh, these these three points, and this is our focus. And uh, now, so what I mentioned is, so we are now on the fifth place. I'm sure a lot of teams would be in our situation now. I'm sure in our in our conference, and we have this situation now. And uh, with a not good game the last week, but. We are also to able now to bring our real face uh, on Saturday against uh, Atlanta. Next, we go to Christian on Zoom. Hi, good afternoon, Coach. Good afternoon. Um, I have two questions for you. Um, the first one is with uh, Wiki Caramona. Any updates on his health status? Um, is he able to return to play this Saturday? No. Um, and the second one? <laughs> yeah, very and quick. No, the sorry, second sorry. one? <laughs> yeah, no, no, understand. Uh, is there an update when he will be able to return? Yeah, we will see. Could be uh, maybe. Uh, I think New York City is also too early, to be honest. Uh, so, but he will be sure out for for this Saturday and also for the next game, home game against New York City. Okay, and I just had a follow-up question. Yeah. Um, I'm pretty sure you had a conversation with Ronald Donker, but how difficult uh, was it for you to uh, sit him on the bench um, for the last game, uh, considering that he's been thriving under your system? Yeah, but to have these difficult um, decisions, that's good, to be honest, for me as a head coach. And then it's important to have a clear um, communication with the player individual. Um, person by person, that's important. And also to explain the situation, to explain also to analyze the last performance against uh, Kansas City, so and uh, which was not the best. Uh, but this is normal as a young player for his development, individual development, and and now and it's also then um, that uh, he ha that he has now this moment. Okay, now maybe he's coming now from the bench, but uh, he's also very open, very clear in his mind, very clear also on the field. And it's good, to be honest, it's good that we have as a team um, to have this competition on uh, on uh, on this position, especially on the six. And this is what we need, to be honest, as well. Everyone, we have time for two more questions with the coach. First, we'll go to Gary on Zoom, and then we'll finish up with Anthony in the room. Gary, you have the floor. Coach, focusing on tonight, uh, excuse me, on Saturday's game, and Saturday's game alone, um, based on your... your you were visibly frustrated at all the results against Chicago. My question is, um, 
you speak to, of course, with the team and has the message finally gotten through it to only so many games left that you want your team to finish strong in the regular season. Yeah, that's our main part. So, and we, that is what I, what I said, uh, that we analyzed the game against Chicago, uh, very open, very clear on, uh, on, on Sunday. And now we have our five games. And for sure, for our big picture, it's important that, uh, that we come to be successful and uh, hopefully then also directly to start in the next game. Oh, but uh, the last, I, I have seen uh, some numbers, to be honest, some, uh, some facts before the, on Tuesday or, or Monday. Um, the, the ranking from the last 10 games, but it was uh, on Monday, on Tuesday. And to be honest, I was very surprised because what my feeling was, was so bad. Uh, but uh, the ranking before Wednesday, before this, these games yesterday, was uh, in the Eastern Conference that we were on in the table on the seventh place. And this was for me, a big, to be honest, the biggest surprise <laughs> because my feeling was more uh, that we are on 12 or on 13 because with so many draws in, in this situation. But at the end, and what I was want to say is, at the end it's normal maybe, but I don't want to accept that it's normal. <laughs> this is my problem as a head coach. So, But at the end, I have also to accept sometimes this normal development and to have these such in a such long season, in a such long period, to have these difficult moments. And we were in the difficult... Um, we had some difficult moments, um, but the last game we were very disappointed, very angry, and uh, so. But now it's over. Now to look forward to the next game, next opportunity, and and the big picture is now in the next five games to get uh, points, um, so many as we can. And it starts now for for Saturday, and then to have a great finish in our regular season, and then hopefully. And this is also not clear now at this moment. Then um, to have the playoff games, the first playoff games in my life, with the Red Bulls. <laughs> yeah, we'll uh, Coach Dante Van Zier yeah. um, came off the bench last two games. Yeah. He was effective um, in helping create that first goal in the mm. last game. What, how has he been adjusting to this new role, um, where he was a starter for quite some time? Mm. Is is he has he earned his way back into the conversation, or is it still um, a situation yeah. where he's going to be on the bench? No, it's always the same, and uh, this is also my responsibility. And also, I can't explain every day, every week, uh, decisions, starting lineup, bench substitution. But in this case, I explained this as well, and also uh, we have a clear conversation, individual, uh, to analyze and and tactical what he can improve. Um, to bring him in the best situation, in the best uh, spot um, on the field uh, for scoring, that's clear. But uh, and then also, but uh, it was also a good reaction last week uh, when we had this talk, and uh, it was a good reaction uh, to be honest. Then also in uh, in the second half in Chicago uh, with his assist, and uh, he had also a little bit this the similar assist in Charlotte. Our first game after the break was similar situation. And uh, so now we have to decide who will play on, uh, on Saturday against uh, Atlanta.